My Neapolitan cake cuterie board is done. It's actually like a cake cuterie table. So we have the chocolate section, the vanilla section, and the strawberry section. And I'm gonna eat something from every section. Why am I always eating alone, guys? Helena! That's me. You're probably wondering how I got here. I decided to make a Neapolitan cake board, but for some of this shoot, our microphone was broken. For each part of the Neapolitan ice cream, I made a board that includes not only ice cream, but cake and cookies of that flavor. But first, let me explain to you how to make your ice cream base. To make your vanilla ice cream base, you need to heat milk and some of your cream along with vanilla bean. In a bowl to the side, you whisk together egg yolks, sugar, and the rest of your heavy cream. Once the mixture has come to a low boil with bubbles around the side, you slowly pour that hot mixture into the egg mixture while whisking constantly. Then you pour the entire mixture back into the pot over low medium heat, stirring constantly until the custard thickens. Once it's done, you wanna pour this into a clean bowl set over an ice bath. This helps the mixture to stop cooking instantly and you'll wanna stir to help cool it down. When it is completely cool, you're gonna pour it into an airtight container and chill it in the fridge for at least four hours. If you're making chocolate ice cream, it's pretty much the same process, except instead of vanilla beans, you're going to pour your boiled cream and milk over some chopped chocolate and stir until the chocolate is melted. My strawberry ice cream is the simplest. It requires no cooking. You just whisk together milk, cream, and sugar in a bowl until the sugar is dissolved. Chill that overnight. The next day, you can add pureed and chopped strawberries to the mixture, as well as some food coloring if you like. Now, back to our regular scheduled programming. So I have three cakes, chocolate cake, there's a strawberry cake, and there's a vanilla cake. And what I'm doing is leveling them, and then I'm gonna cut each one to the exact same size, which happens to be eight by 12 inches. That's what I'm doing now. All right. Now I'm gonna cut this cake into squares that are two by two. So now I have 24 even squares of cake because I was, they're coming! Um, <laughs> our studio is very noisy, which is not great for a studio. So this is the strawberry cake, which is just my vanilla cake. And we folded in some dried strawberries that we blended in a food processor. Here we go. <gasps> oh yeah. Oh, I wanna taste this. What am I doing? Wow. Yes, get a close up of me eating. Oh, I can taste the strawberry and it's gonna taste better with strawberry buttercream. Taste mm. the middle. Shoot, she's getting a close up of you tasting. Mm. I'm not the only one. Have you ever had a strawberry muffin? That's what it tastes like. Mm. Yeah. No? Nope. Yeah, that's the same conversation I have with myself. So here I have the vanilla cake and I'm going to do the same thing again. Okay, so now it's time to make the ice cream. I made the bases already. This is the vanilla base. Look how beautiful it looks. This, so you always wanna chill them covered and even put plastic wrap on the surface because it's just like a custard and I don't want it to uh, form a skin. Look how chocolatey the chocolate base is. Even through the container, you know it's chocolatey. And then this is the strawberry base, which is the only one that had no yolks no eggs at all, which I need to make strawberry now. So I'm gonna pour this milk mixture into this bowl, add my strawberries and a little bit of food coloring. That looks great. Does it look pink on camera? Okay, ready? Looks like Pepto-Bismol. It's not. I'm gonna go for it all, don't you think? This is how to cake it. I mean, how can I not make pink ice cream? And now I'm gonna add my strawberry mixture. See that? Do you see that? It's like half mashed, half sort of chopped. I'm just, what? why am I holding back? You know what I mean? Don't hold back. Okay, so now I'm gonna set up three ice cream makers all at the same time. Helena brought 
her KitchenAid attachment, which is an ice cream bowl. So it's like a metal cylinder. You keep it in your freezer and then you add this little attachment, you put the bowl on and then you use it just like you use the mixer, but instead of mixing batter, it's churning the ice cream. This is the ice cream machine I always use. It has that same metal cylinder. You put it on top, you put like the paddle in and the lid and then turn it on and it does the work for you. This, is my first ice cream machine, which I still have. Cylinder goes inside, a paddle, this goes on top, but you have to hand crank it. So I'm gonna get a little bit of exercise. I'm now on day two of my Neapolitan cake cootery board, and we had some technical difficulties on day one. So I'm gonna make sure <laughs> to explain everything we're doing, and let's hope we don't lose sound today. So right now I have some pizzelle cookies, which are like little waffle cookies. I chose these because they kind of taste like ice cream cones. Well, they taste better. They taste like a waffle cone. And I'm gonna dip them in dark chocolate, white chocolate, and I actually have a strawberries and cream chocolate. We're gonna get dip action. You ready? Oh yeah, that's it. The cookie is so light, I don't wanna break it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put some pearls on because I'm worried about the chocolate. Yes. Okay, so. No! <laughs> We're off to a good start. Dipping them in a strawberries and cream compound chocolate. I've already broken two. And let's see where this takes me. It's such a pretty color. So now I'm dipping pizzelle in white chocolate. And I'm just going to top these with a little bit of sanding sugar. So now that I'm done dipping all my cookies, I have this leftover white chocolate. I am going to scrape out some vanilla bean, mix it in, and then create just a simple bark that I'm gonna top my vanilla ice cream with. Oh no, you know what? I should top the cakes with this. I'm going to pour it into a disposable piping bag and pipe it into this chocolate mold, which looks like coins. Can you see that? Okay, now I'm gonna pop these out of the mold. Okay, so now I have my strawberry cake, vanilla cake, chocolate cake. I'm going to simple syrup them all, and then I'm gonna top them with a scoop, I'm gonna use a scooper of buttercream. So I'm going to make some strawberry buttercream. This is just Italian meringue buttercream, dried strawberries. So the leftover bits that are at the bottom of the bag. And you could just put them in a food processor and just blend them until it's powder. Okay, look at that. Look how powdery it is. I do wanna add a touch of food coloring to make it a more exaggerated pink. Ooh, I think this is a nice color. Okay, so this is my strawberry buttercream. So instead of piping my buttercream like I usually do, I thought I would use a little ice cream scoop and make it look like the cake is topped with ice cream. And I just have a glass of hot water in case I need to clean the scoop in between. Okay, I like the way this looks. So this is vanilla scooped. I'm gonna move on to strawberry. Okay, it's time to scoop the chocolate buttercream. This one is my chocolate Swiss meringue. That looks really good.
So I have three toppings for my ice cream. I'm gonna put crumbled vanilla cake on my vanilla ice cream, chopped strawberries on my strawberry ice cream, and then for the chocolate ice cream, I'm going to just create some shavings with a peeler. And this is just a brick of chocolate. Every time I melt chocolate and I don't use it all, we pour it on a tray, let it set, and then break it up and we can use it again. But you could do this with a chocolate bar. I wanna put the cake in a line, but I know it's not gonna really cooperate. So here I go. Chocolate. I feel good. Now these are going back in the freezer. Now I'm gonna plate my cakes and my cookies on a tray according to flavor, and when everything's in place, I'll top the cakes with their garnish. The vanilla tray is done, so I'm gonna move on to the strawberry and chocolate. Oh, oh, good thing we're eating it now. This is why we never make ice cream. Oh, 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 this one is the richest. The vanilla is creamy, but the strawberry is more, it's definitely lighter, and the chunks of frozen strawberry inside. Mm-hmm, now chocolate. Yes, I will have cake now, although it's very hard for me to put down my ice cream. Strawberry cake a vanilla cookie, and a chocolate cookie. What's the buttercream like with the freeze-dried strawberry? Mm. It's sweet, but there's a tartness, and more so than when I make it with fresh chopped strawberries. I'm gonna put vanilla ice cream on the chocolate cookie. This is better than chips and dip. Okay, you can get all the recipes for the ice cream down below. It's melty, I'm getting really mad. Look, <laughs> look. We gotta go. I have to go before I lose it. I'll see you next week.